focused on, on the rescue, right? So I just want to make sure she was safe. She talked to me to make sure I was safe, and that's the that's all we really said to each other. And just, you know, let's get out of this together and get the job done. Right? Was, she was she frightened? Beg your pardon? Any tense moments up there? No, it was good. Yeah, the weather was good. It was a light breeze coming in from the south, so yeah, it was okay. So, <laughs> so Rob, you did this with harness. You did this. You're, you're trained. You know, how do you think somebody could do that? I mean, it's you know what? It, I, she has to tell me how she did it because she's got to be our new training officer for, <laughs> for high angle because uh, it's impressive. Like, it, it was hard enough for me to go up with ropes and and, and the harnesses, and she she free climbed that. It's it's, it's incredible. It is know? unbelievable. I mean, it's like just to scale yeah, that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Rob, can you yeah. just take us through the whole thing? You got the call and arrived, then how, how'd you assess what to do? Uh, we, well, after we spotted her with binoculars, obviously it was, it was dark, so we had a tough time spotting her when we realized we did have somebody up there. And then, uh, you know, we had uh, heavy squads here and good trained crews, so captains took the lead on it and decided what we were going to do, and the chief decided uh, we're going to go get her. Uh, we weren't, weren't sure if we are going to be able to move the crane properly um, and get it down, so we said, okay, well, let's just uh, execute a rescue. So. Away we go. We well, watched y'all going all the way up. What was that like car carrying all the lines of gear? Uh, it, it got heavy, but you know you're focused on your job, so you know there's nobody else coming besides us. So you just, got, you just got to get it done, when right? You got so. up there. Did you say anything to you? Did you tell her anything? Did she ask for anything? No, we just we just said you know talked, you know said names, say stay calm, and we'll I'll be there. She was yep, great, glad to see you up here to help me, and no, it's good. Was she frightened? She's very calm, very calm. Yeah, so we we're yeah. She, she made me calm actually. Yeah. yeah. It, it must have been freezing. It was pretty cold up there. Yeah. Like I said, slight wind from the south. Yeah. And what, what's her name? Did she talk to you? No, we didn't even get into that, you know, about names. We just wanted to focus on getting her down to that location. I told her we're not, you know, I've got to stay focused on my job. So I don't want to get distracted talking. So let's just get our ropes hooked up and let's get down there. The game plan halfway through. How did that go? Um, you were bringing down the harness, right? Yeah, we weren't sure what was going to happen. We actually had to use the... Uh, the crane operator's experience and decide whether it was a good way to bring her down with the crane system or take our rope so he suggested not to move the pulleys not to move the cable so we just took her uh, with our ropes because we know it we trust it we know what we can do so that's a, a, a guarantee for us so. so the chief said basically you're you're his guy to do this i mean he's never seen it before but he said you are the main guy to do this. Have you seen this before? How long have you been on the job? And uh, just yeah, I was voluntold. You're going up, and uh, <laughs> so I've been on 22 years. So I do, I do a lot of rope work with trees and that. So um, yeah, plus a bit of a monkey. So they thought you're the guy, right? So. How is this different from, uh, from scaling a tree? It's got to be different. You know what? I, I have a tree job to do tomorrow, and it's not going to be nearly as high as that. So it's going to be like climbing a bush, right? So uh, yeah, a little bit different, but you know, you got your equipment, the training. So the job provides us very very good training so how physically exhausting is it you're carrying up gear so it's not just you and you're going rung by rung what was that process yeah like? yeah very tired yeah it's, it's a lot of work trying to get up there um dragging ropes up with you it is you know i'm fatigued right now for sure right i'd be lying if i said i wasn't so and you were cold you must have known cold. No. she must have been yeah she had a little thin coat on but you know what she was a brave girl she was uh she helped me when i got there so we were both calm and hooked on to each other and yeah, so Did she say how she got up there? Uh, she's going to tell me later because I need, you know, I need to write it down because that's how I do it next time, but I have no idea how she did it. So what would you say is the biggest project that you've We've done lots of, you know, lots of guys have done uh, high angle rescues off uh, buildings, the Bluer Viaduct, so different different items. This one's different because you're going to climb up to go down instead of just climbing out on something or a she building. She said it's so. a new, uh, new chapter. And it could be, is it? Yeah, yeah, it could be a new one. Yeah. Wrote the is that right? I wrote I that. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You got to be known for something. <laughs> first thing that crossed your mind when you came here, you took a look at the situation. That's, uh, how did how did she get there? Like, how did she do that? Right? That's that's what everybody wants to know. How she did it. So. Did she tell you why? No, we didn't. We didn't get in to discussing that. You don't want to get into the who's why's and, and when's. Just let's just get out of this together, right? And, how big so. a role did the negotiator play? Oh, he's very good. Yeah, very good. The calm voice. He, he was like a you know a late night uh, talk show host the way he talked. Right, he kept it really calm. You know, he had that Perry Como type of uh, <laughs> that voice. Right, I was calm. He calmed me down. Right, so so yeah, he was good. Yeah, we're having a good time up there. Yeah, you got to keep it light. Right, so you're not laughing, part? you're crying. Right, so. Uh, getting up there. Yeah, toughest part is climbing up there. Yeah. Just, you hoping to get the rest of the day off? <laughs> 
I, I do, but we got a hockey tournament, so we gotta <laughs> we gotta cut this short. I got a hockey game. So. And how long have yeah. you been in this line of work? Uh, 22 years, roughly. Have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, we've had some crane stuff, but not like that. They climb up the middle or you know do something in some uh, you know, construction sites, but not not like that. No, that was that was pretty impressive that she did that. So. so Rob, are you gonna go play in this hockey tournament? We, right? Yeah, we got a game at 11, so I don't want to be late. So <laughs> I already missed one game, so I gotta make. I play goal, so I'm. I'm the go-to so guy. So. No I try to play goal. I'm getting a little older, so it's not, you know. You like but if the Leafs want me, <laughs> I'll, I'll come back out. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. 